Hey everyone, so Jonas here from Creative Temp and in today's video I'm gonna walk through to the Soft UI Dashboard from React, our newest NUI admin template based on React.js. We'll walk through to the entire product, the product documentation, which is a really interesting part, and also how you can app and run the product. So let's get started and see what we have inside the product and how we need it. So the first thing that we need to do is head over to the creativetemp.com slash product and the soft UI dashboard for React. I have added this link below in the description of this video and you can use this one. So here we have the product page. We have the live preview on the docs, uh, the purchase button and the free demo button. Also, we have some description related to the product, the things that we have used and this product contains a designer assets file based on Figma. It means if you are a designer, you can use this product as well for building different user interfaces. Also, we have some details of the product and we have the product info, which contains a 300 built-in elements like buttons, inputs, cards, nav bars, and much more. And these components are truly reusable and customizable. We also have a 20 open source libraries and 54 built-in pages for different purposes. So let's go down. Here we have the prices and you can choose one of these based on what you're going to do. For example, if you're a freelancer, if you have any startup, if you have a company or if you want to join the Creative Team Club. And the next thing is the comparison of the free demo with the pro version. So let's get into the live preview and here we have the product, as you can see. Uh, different pages are right there. I'm not going to walk through into all of these things because there's a lot of pages and it will take a lot of time. So next we have a small configurator here that you can change the color of the side nav or maybe the side nav type from the transparent to white. This uh, nav bar, as you can see, is a fixed navbar uh, with this blurry background and if you uncheck this one it's not going to be fixed anymore. Also the mini side nav that you can check it from there or you can close it or open it from there and this dashboard is also totally responsive as you can see. It's totally responsive and you can use it for different purposes. So and um, it's a dashboard but the really interesting part of the dashboard is its documentation. You can use this button for the documentation or you can use this one. And here we go. It's the documentation of the product. We have some information, the open source libraries that we have used for the product are listed there. And the next thing that we need to check is the quick start, which is the most important thing when you want to use this product. It's everything for up and running the product on your machine. You can use this page, what we have used for the product, uh, what font, what icon, everything. So the next one is the build tools, the commands that are available inside the package.json, like the yarn install, npm install, or if you are a pnpm user, you can use the pnpm install as well. We will add this one on the next update of the product as well, an option for the pnpm. Uh, the next one is the foundation which is the colors, grid, topography, borders, box shadows, foundations, and routing system. And this documentation is very, very descriptive. If we take a look to these functions, as you can see, these are the helper functions that we have created for you. For example, for creating RGBA color, converting pixel to M, hex to RGB, generating box shadow, generating linear gradient, and the gradient chart line, which is one of the most helpful functions that you can use, for example, for creating these sort of line charts. Okay, the next thing that we have here are the components, and these are the core components, and you have this SUI prefix for these components. So let's check this alert. Here we have the alert, and one of the most important features of this documentation is that it's totally interactive. It's a code editor that you can use for modifying this component. So if you change this color from info to error, 
and hit this save for saving it or command s or control s if you are a windows user it will change the color which means you can customize the component right there inside your browser and just copy it and paste it inside your text area also we have the props information right there the color prop the dismissible prop uh, the type that this prop is getting also the default value and some description to that one so let's check this dismissible and um, hit save now as you can see we have this little icon here that if we click it now the alert is gone we have some example with icon and the dismissible again so we also have this a uh, pro badge right there which means the component is only available for the pro version but for these components that doesn't has any pro badge it means that this one is available on both free and the pro version so let's take a look to the examples and these examples are the building blocks for a page for example we have different cards charts a calendar uh, the globe which is this one also we have the icons the items the list tables and much more and these examples are also reusable and customizable like this alert so if we take a look to one of the cards for example let's take a look to the block card so we have the simple block card a simple block card that you can use you just need to import it and put your data and it will do the work for you so let's change something right there for example if you want to say hello world and um, for customizing the button you have this action prop you can read more about the props right there i will change this one to dark and this one to read more hit save and now as you can see hello world and this one to read more okay next we have the charts we have the globe you can check all of them one by one and the next step is to run the product on our machine and the first step that you need to do is open your terminal we can do it using the hyper i'm using hyper but you can use your terminal or maybe iterm or if you're a windows user you can use command prompt there's nothing different between these things uh, you can run these commands on all of them so once you purchase the product download it on your machine just head over to that product I have it on my desktop and right there it's called the soft UI dashboard pro react it's what you will get after purchasing and downloading the product so let's open this one with code editor and it's all the things that are included for that product first thing is the package.json and here you should check these two we have listed the engines for the node and the npm and the node version should be one of these versions version 14 15 or 16 uh, lower than these versions the product will not work also we have the npm version it should be the version 6 or greater than this one and once you have these two set up you are totally fine to run the product and to run the product you can simply use the yarn install or yarn for short or you can use npm i or install or maybe pnpm i or install uh, once you run this one it will install all of the dependencies and after that you can use yarn start npm start or maybe pnpm start okay there we go the product is now running on our machine so let's check this terminal and as you can see there is no issue everything is successfully compiled and you're good to go uh, sometimes you will face with some warnings during installing the dependencies uh, these warnings are not that much important because these are something with some other libraries that we have used for that product it will not affect the behavior of the product uh, uh, we are trying to reduce these warnings as much as we can but take it easy it will not affect the behavior of the product and if you face with any issue during installing the product like if the installation is failed please check your node.js version and npm version 
if I just say npm v, as you can see, we have 8.3.1. It's my npm version. And if I say node v, we have the version 16.14.0. Okay, which is truly compatible with these two. And sometimes npm doesn't work quite well. Uh, I prefer using yarn mostly. You can use yarn to download and install yarn. You can simply say npm i g yarn. Just put this sudo right there. So to install yarn for you on your computer globally. And then you can use the yarn command for installing dependencies. And this will not give you any error related to the installation of the dependencies. But still, if you face with an issue, please report that issue or bug on the GitHub repo of the product. You can use the support right there. If you are using the free, you can use this one. If you are using the pro, you can use this one. And create a new issue related to that product. Also, if you want to make it more interesting, you can join our Discord community. I have put a link in the description for you. And there you can report the issues or bugs. You can also learn a lot of things from others and you can get help from our own team as well. So it's all about the Soft UI Dashboard Pro React that how you can uh, download it, how you can run it on your machine and how you can uh, use the documentation of the product.